Hello and welcome to my channel Dynamics 365. It is a cloud-based enterprises resource planning and customer relationship management software that we also call ERP and CRM. I'm going to give you a brief introduction and information of getting started with Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. So let's start with its key features like finance and accounting management, sales and marketing, customer services management, project management, human resource management, supply chain management, and much more. I'll be walking you through the basic info and dashboard layout of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. So let's start how we are going to sign in in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Well, Microsoft will send you the link of Dynamics 365 and your credentials that you are using according to your package and module. As soon as we logs in, we would be we would be able to see the dashboard. The dashboard contains different types of tiles for different types of functions and tasks. You can see only tiles or modules in Dynamics 365 that you are allowed to see by your administrators or your organizations. The top right corner basically shows the user information with which we have logged in into the system. Like in my case, I'm using admin credentials. Right next to it, it is help and support option where you can get help or ask question if you have any according to your modules and package. Next to the, to the help and support is basically the settings which the user can use to view or change the setting of his profile. Like by clicking on setting and then click on user option, we can see multiple options on the left side where we can do some changes like in preferences, account settings like user, user ID, name, etc. We can also change the date format or the language from the setting option. Next one is feedback. If you want to give your feedback to Microsoft Dynamics 365, go, go ahead and fill out this box and click submit. Next one is the notification pane or also called action center. Let us say that there are certain notification which the system would like to promote the user. Then the, all those notifications would be appearing in this particular action center. The user can click message details to open the new message details pane. Next one is one of the best feature of Dynamics 365 that is search bar. The search function in Dynamics 365 is fast and accurate way to find records reports and other items in systems user can type in keywords or phrase in the search box and the system will display a list of results that match the search criteria like if i search data management then the system will display a list of results according the search function supports advanced search features such as wildcards and boolean operations allowing user to allowing user to refine their research criteria and gets more precise results. Next to of our next to pane is a list of legal entities or branches of your organizations. Organization. Let us say there are multiple legal entities in ERP which is configured. However, the user has been given access only to a particular legal entry by administrators. The dashboard also gives you an information about the calendar. Right below calendar, there is information related to work items that have been assigned to you by your boss, like to create a vendor, purchase order, or stuff like that. In the, in the next video, I will explain how to create a vendor, a purchase order, or how to create a product and stuff like that. So, so if you guys like my content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. If you want to ask some question, feel free to ask questions in a below comment area. I'll be more than happy to help. Now, the primary way to navigate to different parts of system, it is organized into collapsible sections and each sections has a set of links to different forms, reports, and tasks. Let's start with talking about dynamics menus called navigation pane, which can be displayed by clicking the icon on the left hand side of screen the navigation pane is made of, of four areas 
which which is favorites recents workspace and module now i'll shortly explain one by one clicking the white triangle will collapse the menu using the triangle the first one is favorite option for example my duty is to is to create suppliers purchase order or stuff like that every time i need to create a vendor i don't need to navigate all the way to the procurement sourcing and then vendor all you need to do all i have to do is once once just add it to your favorite and every time i need to navigate to the particular form all you need to do is go to favorites and then click on the respective form as you work in dynamics there will be some forms that you access regularly so it's useful to add these forms or reports to your favorites recent recent actually displays a list of 10 recent open forms that you have been working that you have been working with like in my case it's purchase order vendor products and stuff like that workspace a workspace basically gives a, gives a 360 degree view view of activities of dynamics 365 that you can see over here is nothing but these tiles which is available on dashboard the workspace provide an overview of activities that a user performs in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Again, you may not see all the modules or all the workspace. It displays a list of all the workspace you have permission to open by your organization. There are many default workspace that provides Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations dashboard. It's unlikely that you will use the workspace options as workspace options are already displayed on your dashboard page. The next one is modules. For example, there are accounts payable and accounts receivable modules, each modules containing the form used by that specific job function, depending on your user access rights. You will not see all the modules or all the form within a modules. You will not see all the modules or all the form within a module. Any workspace relevant to a module are also displayed, just like the navigation pane sections are. If you are familiar with Dynamics previous version, then these modules and this content will be familiar to you. From as a point of note, in Dynamics 365 last version, text form have been moved from the journal ledger module into a module of their own and inventory and warehouse modules have been split into two modules inventory and warehouse okay now it's end just before this session complete let's recap in introduction of dynamic 365 finance and operations we learn its key features we discuss including finance and accounting management sales and module of their own and inventory and warehouse modules have been split into two modules inventory and warehouse okay now its end just before this session complete let's recap in introduction of dynamic 365 finance and operations we learn its key features we discuss including finance and accounting management sales and marketing customer services management project management human resource management and supply chain management the, the dashboard layout was explained with the search function highlighted as a fast and accurate way to find records, reports, and other items in the system. The navigation pane also introduced with includes favorites, recent, workspace, and modules providing a way to navigate to different parts of the system. The workspace was explained as a 360 degree views of activities while modules were explained as containing forms used by specific job functions. Finally, it was noted that the text form have been moved into a modules of their own and the inventory and warehouse modules has been split into two modules in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations till date. In next video, I will may explain the purchase order, how to create a vendor or an invoice, how to create a product, 